Good morning. It is me, Peter Towers, and it's a great opportunity to speak to all of you. So, have you ever wondered what it was like to not see me at all the past year? If you, in person, if you go to the school I go to. Now, if you go to the same school I go to, you would know what I'm talking about. But if you live somewhere else, you would not. But yeah, we're gonna have we're talking about two topics today. So this is gonna be one of my main important speeches to all of you. So let's get started. So we got the school situation I've dealt with the past year for the first topic, and for the second topic. We got the 2024 election. So this is the top two things I want to talk about today. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so. The school situation I've dealt with the past year. So. The last time I've ever saw anyone in person. Any of my fans. That support me. My supporters, my fans, everyone. The last time I ever saw them in person. Which is the middle school I go to at the time. It was about, like, over a year ago. In 8th grade. It was 2022 to 2023. So, on April 17th of 2023, was the last time that I ever saw any of my fans, supporters, everyone there. At the middle school I go to at the time. And yeah, I would not put the name out there, but I'm just going to say middle school and high school for this topic. So, that's when I was in middle school. Alright. Originally, the suspension. So, I got a suspension. A two-week suspension for something I did that day. And, um... It was two weeks, originally. Two weeks. And at the very beginning of May, I didn't want to go back to middle school. And it was towards the end of the school year, technically. Alright? But then, we had a meeting on May 2nd of 2023 with a lady that was in charge, very in charge, in the area of schools. And, you yeah, not going to put her name out there, but, let's just say, well, she made things a lot worse at the time. So, she decided to suspend me, extend the suspension for a lot longer that day. She made it so that I could not go back for the rest of the school year. And that was pretty traumatizing. And, yeah, so... I'm starting to really miss all of you. If you go to the school I go to, I'm starting to really miss all of you. And, um, the next time I had a meeting with this lady would be in late July of 2023. So, in late July of 2023 was when I had the next meeting. Right? And also, we do have one plane trip per year, and my mood was affected by the school situation. That June, unfortunately, when we had a vacation. We might have saw him make a United Flight video in June of 2023. Maybe saw me do that. That's what that was. That's what that vacation was. And yeah. So that's that. Anyways, moving on. July. We got that meeting in July, towards the end of the month of July. We got... We got this lady... The same lady from that meeting in back in May. And we have that. And yeah, that meeting was about if I could go, if I could go back into this area, this district. And for this next school year. And for this next school year, would be high school. The first year in high school. The, the high school they have in the, the, the area. And yeah, pretty much. For ninth grade. For 2023 to 2024. In that school year, maybe the first school year in high school. So, that first school year in high school would be the determination if I could go back to that area and go to the high school there. So I could see all of you again. Unfortunately, that did not happen. She did not let that happen. 
and it's pretty messed up. So, because of that, well, anyways, after that, I got a new case manager. I'm not going to put her name out there, but I got a new case manager. It was a lady, another lady. And yeah, that case manager was a nice one. And, um, that case manager, I'll see her from time to time in the library. Well, in a library I go to. For the first half of the school year. Like once or twice a week. For an hour or two. To have, my, to have her help out with work. School work. And yeah. Technically I was homeschooled for the first half of the school year. I was homeschooled. And um, yeah. I was homeschooled. And uh, I was doing work on a site where you had to stay on pace and everything. Early October. Like. Late August, actually, that's when it started. It wasn't much at first, but then in October, in the beginning of October, that's when she gave me all the courses and made me do a lot more work ever since. Early October of 2023. And um, after that, I just worked really hard every day, every weekday. Alright, so, after that, After that, we have, there's a night, there's a, another meeting we have at the beginning of November. The beginning of November, we had a meeting. It was only about my courses, and also I did take SOL, SOL tests in May of 2023. But then we had to pass them to pass the grade. Not that grade, but the next school year, this next school year, first year in high school, ninth grade, is the first school year we had the past is supposed to pass the grade. That's pretty much how it works. Where the school and district I am in. So yeah. That's that. Anyways. Um, we had that meeting on, in early November. To determine my courses. How I'm doing in them so far. And stuff like that. And also I look at the scores I got on the SOLs. Not going to get into how good I did on them, but yeah, not going to talk about that part. But, yeah. And then in December, the thing is, for, for August and December, my case, my case manager at the time, a year ago, she was looking for schools to put me into. She was looking at small private schools to put me into at the time. So, yeah. None of them accepted me, though, into their program. Until in December, when my case manager found one, they did accept me. I didn't like any of the schools, to be honest. No disrespect to the teachers that have their course, but I just didn't like the schools. Because they weren't that fun compared to the middle school I went to at the time. Just the difference in size, how big it was, the amount of courses, clubs, everything like that. Compared to that, I didn't like the private schools, but I had to deal with it. So I got seven into one in December. So for the second half of the school year, I got it. I started there. I started at that private school. I got accepted into in the very beginning of January, the very beginning of the next year, twenty twenty four. All right. Alright, so yeah, I just started there, so yeah, the second half of the school year, I was attending that private school, in the second half of that school year, and it was very repetitive, it was pretty much like the same thing for the past few months after that, just doing schoolwork, attending that private school, doing the same things over and over, just doing... That schoolwork from here to there, nothing special. Uh man, it was exhausting. Not fun, but I had to deal with it because the thing is, if I did good there and behaved well, I'd be able to go back into that district I'm in and go to that high school. Mm-hmm. So I could see all of you again. And I'm only talking to the people, I'm only talking to you people that go to the school I go to. 
Just you two. Just you guys. And for the rest of you, well, you had nothing to do with this situation. But anyways, later on, towards the end of the school year of ninth grade, in May, I took SOL tests for that school year. All I'm going to say is I passed one of them. And the thing is, this is the first school year. Remember what I said earlier? The first school year we had to pass an SOL test to pass the grade. The thing is, how it works now is you have you get school credits for courses that you do. And if you do SOL tests and you pass them, you get those credits verified. I got one verified credit so far. And that's all I'm going to talk about right there for that. But anyways, after that... The thing is, um, the district I'm used to that I always go, I always attend, the school year ends, the last day of school, at the very end of May. But, the thing is, at this private school I went to, it's a lot different. A lot different. The school year actually ends in the middle of June. I did not like that at all. You saw me post two flight videos on my YouTube channel. A month ago. A month or two ago. Pretty much two months ago. It was two months ago. No, two months ago. I posted two flight videos. That first flight video was in Dulles Airport to Dallas. The second one was Dallas to Seattle. Yeah, that trip right there was the Seattle trip. And I said that this was the visit of college trip of my father's. And, uh, yeah. That's true. That's true. Anyways. Other than that, this trip would be in a, towards the beginning of June, like every other plane trip. We have one plane trip per year. It's usually in the beginning of June. But it was actually towards in the middle of June this time. Because because of the school year, of the private school I go to, the last day of school, the middle of June. Like, I did not like that. I was still doing more schoolwork in June. Like, that was terrible. It, I'm not used to that at all. Like, that, I was not lucky there. No disrespect at all, of course. No offense. But, anyways. That's that. So, after that, we then have, we got a meet, got two meetings towards the end of summer, that, this year. Of 2024. In July. So, on July 22nd of 2024, we finally had a meeting a meeting with this lady again, the one that kicked me out, made my suspension a lot longer. Yeah, remember what I said earlier in July 2023? I said that she made the suspension so I could not come back to the district for the next school year. So that's what I explained there. But for this next school year for 2024 to 2025, for 10th grade, is what we determined on July 22nd of 2024 with this lady. Mm hmm. What we had talked about was determining if I could come back in the district and go to that high school they have there. So I could see all of you again. So I could finally see all of you again. Unfortunately, she finally let it happen. She finally let me come back in to that area so I could see all of you again. It's very great. And then we had a second meeting towards the very end of July, on July 29, of 2024, we had a second meeting. And that, went, and that meeting was to determine the courses I would have here at that high school. The courses I would have. Yeah, that's to determine the courses I would have attending and all that. My schedule and everything. That's what that was to determine. And also the SOL scores I got for this year. They're pretty much very similar to last year, but, you know, but, not gonna get into that. All I said is I passed one of them, and I got me one verified high school credit. Anyways, other than that, I finally got back into the district. And then, and in, in August, on the first day of school, uh, in August, this, towards the rest of the month of August, the second half of that month, I was finally getting to see all of you again. It's finally... And I was finally able to run into a lot of people I recognize again. And it's been great to see all of you again, guys. For the people that go to the school I go to, 
It's been a great experience to see all of you again. It's been great to see all of you again. It's been a great experience. Yeah, I'm very happy to see all of you again. It's been great. I've missed you a lot. Since April 17th is the last day I ever saw these some of you. A lot of you. And now in August this year, I finally see all of you again. This has been very great. I missed you a lot. Thank you guys for your support. I'd like to thank all my supporters. My fans. Everyone there. And thank you for that. This has been a traumatizing experience. And I'm so glad that it's all over. Alright. That's that topic done with. Now the second topic. The 2024 election. Alright. So for this 2024 election. We had Donald Trump versus Joe Biden. And 2020 election is the same thing. But this election it was going to be the same thing. But the thing is, a lot of things, a lot of things have changed this summer for this election, and things are going to keep changing from now on because we're getting very close to election day. All right, two months. We're two months away from the twenty twenty four election at the very beginning of November. Two months away. Mhm. Mm All right. Two months away. Okay. So now Donald Trump versus Joe Biden. Well, before the middle of summer, it was like that. But, the thing is, there's been a lot of changes. So, let's go over those changes. So, the thing is, you know, Donald Trump has been criticizing Biden Harris a lot. That's how, that's how it's going to be. But, anyways, on July 1st, I mean, on June 27th of 2024, is when Donald Trump and Joe Biden had their first debate. And also, that's on my birthday. June 27 of 2024 is my birthday. If you look at my past live streams, maybe you saw me do streaming on the, that very day of 2022 in 2023. Yep, and yeah, that's on my and that's been on my birthday. And that's really what I put in the title of the streams. And I did discuss it as my birthday in those live streams too. And if you saw those, you would know that June 27 is my birthday. Anyways, this first debate between Trump and Biden was on my birthday, June 27, 2024. That's been very interesting, very interesting timing right there. Anyways, that is the only debate that they're going to have between Trump and Biden because there's been a lot of changes. So, the thing is, after that, a week, a week or two after that, on July 14, 2024, there's been an assassination attempt on Trump during his rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. And, as I did post in my Discord announcements at that time, we all need to pray for Trump. We all need to pray that he is safe and does not die. Because, even though he's a bad person, we are very glad that he survived that assassination attempt and did not get hurt that much. The only damage he had was in his ear, right here. In this, in this area here. Like, the bullet went past right, right there. Like, right, like, like that. It could have been a lot worse. But thankfully, it was just that, and that's it. Because of the head adjustments. Like, moving your head and stuff like that. But the timing of Trump and his head movement, he was very lucky. Very lucky to survive. And that timing, he was very lucky. Anyways, that's that. With Trump's assassination. Anyways, after that, soon after that, we have the Republican National Convention. We have a lot of the different Republicans, like Virginia Governor, Florida Governor, stuff like that. And Trump, of course. A lot of other Republicans. Like that. Yeah, it was mainly about Trump, unfortunately. But, yeah. Because we would not want Trump back in office. I'd explain, I'm going to explain that in a bit, but the Republican National Convention is where Trump announced his VP pick, Vice President pick, and he picked J.D. Vance, Ohio Senator. J.D. Vance, and, yeah, pretty interesting pick. Interesting. But yeah. I mean, a lot of us would say it's a great pick. But still... Of course, I mean, Trump is not a good person. 
But yeah. He's really a criminal on January 6th and all that. But anyways. And it comes to Joe Biden. He dropped out of the race after that. Yeah, Joe Biden dropped out of the race. And now we have Kamala Harris. He endorsed Harris. So now it's Donald Trump versus Kamala Harris. And so now that is what we're going to have for this election. And yeah, great choice, Biden. Thank you for dropping out. You're too old. You could die in office. But anyways, uh, yeah. Kamala is the better choice. And, but the thing is, both Trump and Harris are bad. Neither one of them are that good. Because, like, the thing is, let me make some main points here. Number one, so for Trump. Alright, Donald Trump is known as the democracy killer, voting rights killer, and dictator. And Kamala Harris is not known for any of that. She's not going to do any of that. She's not going to be a dictator or any of that, but she's mainly known as the price raiser. Inflation exploder. A lot of people refer to her as that. Uh, but some Democrats might blame Trump for an inflation bomb and stuff like that. Honestly, I'm not really sure on that, but yeah. Anyways, um, that's that's pretty much what's been going on here. That's pretty much what the policies are between Trump and Harris. Harris also does, like, probably would want to open borders and stuff. I mean, that was mainly Biden that did that. Biden and Harris. They opened the borders. Illegal immigration. It's just not right. But still, Trump's even worse. Because he's a dictator who wants to destroy democracy. I would rather have illegal immigration than end democracy because ending democracy will probably kill even more people. And also will kill even more people than protecting abortion rights. All right, speaking of abortion rights, we do need to ban abortion. I do agree with that. And as far as in general in politics, I am a Republican. And you, a lot of you may think this is weird, but that's just how it is. But I don't support Trump. I'm Republican, but I don't support Trump. Okay? That's who I am. But most Republicans do support Trump. And that's why a lot of you would think that's a weird opinion. But this is my personal opinion. I'm not saying you have to agree. I'm just discussing my opinion on this. But anyways... I'm Republican because I do not like abortion. We gotta ban abortion. We need we need abortion banned. Abortion isn't right. We cannot protect the rights of abortion. We gotta ban abortion. Like abortion is messed up. Like we can't just have mothers kill their own babies. If you think about it, that's just illegal. Like babies should be able to just come out. And have their own lives and live their lives, not just be way worth nothing. So you gotta ban abortion. That woman healthcare centers, nothing wrong with that. It's just abortion we gotta ban. Just to be, just abortion. That's it. And um, that's that. And taxes for taxes, we gotta cut taxes. That's another reason why I'm Republican because we gotta lower taxes. Got lower taxes. Not that I'm saying I'm going to be a president, the president of the U.S. one day. I'm not saying that. But I would want to see the taxes being lowered. Alright? <clears throat> Sorry. Excuse me. Um, yeah. So, we got to lower the taxes. I, I'd want to see the taxes be lowered. And cutting taxes for lower, for middle income families. Lowering taxes for them. That's what I'd like to see there. And also, I, I would like us to close the borders. I'd want it if we close the borders so we don't have as much illegal immigrants destroying our country at the borders. Especially between the United States and Mexico. Like, yeah, the United States and Mexico border. Trump was building a wall, but I don't think that's the best solution. Honestly, I don't really know what the best solution is for it, but either way... We gotta figure out a solution to close the borders. 
We gotta close the borders. We gotta figure out a way, the best way, the best solution to protect the borders. That's what I'd want to see from the future outcomes of the future elections. If Trump wins, this probably is going to be our last election, but yeah, because, you know, kill voting rights. You see the last days of the country's voting rights, but no more elections. He'll probably just be the president for the rest of existence. I mean, he's old, so he won't last much longer anyways. Then his sons will take over and stuff. Well, hopefully Kamala wins, because we can't have dictators. I hate, I don't, I, mean, I don't want, I don't like dictators. I mean, I wouldn't hate anyone, but I don't like dictators. No, I don't like dictators, but that's my opinion on this. We, we need to vote for Harris. Even though I'm Republican, we gotta vote Harris. We don't, we don't want to end democracy. That's not what I want. And also, I'm not the only Republican that thinks that way, so. I'm not the only Republican out there that would think this way. But yeah, that's my opinion on all this. So yeah. And yeah, and also, Harris has announced her VP, Vice President. It's Tim Waltz. Yeah, she picked Tim Waltz. The other choice she would have made is Josh Shapiro. No, she chose Tim Waltz. She chose Tim Waltz for the Vice President. That's her Vice President pick, Tim Waltz. Anyways, that is that, so, anyways, that was, that, me talking about, that was me talking about the school situation I've dealt with the past year, and the 2024 election, yep, so those are the two topics I've discussed today, for this speech that I've made here, so yep, that's that, anyways, this is the end, that was, that's it, this is, this is it now. This is the end of me talking about those two topics. So, yep, that's it. That's it for those two topics of so the school situation over the past year and the 2024 election. That's that. So, that is all I'd like to talk about with you t for today. So, yeah, that is my conclusion on this. We got to. So, my conclusion is I'm very happy to see all of you again after that traumatizing experience from the school situation. I'm proud. And very excited and great, grateful and thankful to see all of you again. And, and my conclusion for the 2024 election is that don't vote Trump. Vote for Harris, even though Republican. Vote for Harris. Do not end democracy. And a lot of you might say, oh, this is Republican, not democracy. I don't agree. We need democracy. We need democracy, okay? Okay, that's my conclusion on these two topics. So, yeah, alright. So, that was my conclusions on those two topics for for today. So, yep, yeah, this has been my speech to all of you. And all that, so yeah. This is me, Peter Towers. And in the future, you're going to be an architect engineer. I can disclose that, but yeah, that's pretty much that. So, yep, this is me, Peter Towers, and this is the end of my speech to all of you. This is me, Peter Towers, and this is the end. Goodbye, everyone.